Okay, we're going to go over a uh, basic introductory Qigong Tai Chi move uh, to help work on relaxing the structures of the body, help soften the body, help to soften the mind, create connection with the floor, with the earth, and also with the cosmos, or the heavenly realm. This move is going to begin in standing Qigong posture, Wu Qi, creating space in between the armpits, so the arms aren't too tight, close to the body, they're not too far out, but they're hanging nicely next to the body with space, with a little air passes through the armpit. Chest and belly are slightly sunken in, tailbone is press, pressing down, it's plugged into the earth, which again allows the, the, the lower back to open up helps circulate energy up the spine. Reaching to the sky with the crown of the head. After you've settled in and you're feeling relaxed, you're going to inhale. Feel the inhale move into the lower back and as it as you inhale up the back, the pressure from the breath is going to expand and open the elbows out to the side. Okay? It's going to look something like this. This takes practice. Okay? So inhale, feel the elbows rolling in, rolling toward the front of the room, and then exhale, and you're going to release the elbows. And as they curl back in towards each other, release the wrists, release the hands, release the fingers, come back. And then you're going to do that again. Inhale. Sinking through the feet, keeping yourself grounded, keeping the spine long, tailbones plugged in. Helping open up nerve endings, getting coming into connection with the nerve receptors, the feeling stuff, the stuff that we use to feel and perceive the world around us. So this exercise is helping to soften us up so that we can actually feel more deeply into the physical space. So practicing that, you want to release. When you release, release all the way through the fingers and then come back down. going to practice that. That's the first part. The second part is once you've established that rhythm, that feeling of inhale and expanding and exhale and then you release the energy through the hands, we're going to come into this next move which is to inhale, allow the hands to float themselves away from the body. The fingertips are going to be pointing to the floor palm, back of the hands are facing to the ceiling. You're going to breathe the backs of the hands up. At the peak of the inhale, the fingertips will be towards the ceiling. And you're going to exhale, drawing the palms back down to the floor. side. Follow the breath. This exercise is really great for learning how to connect the breath with the movement. I'm really feeling the fullness, the roundedness of the movement here feeling how the bones become more uh, softer, more pliable, that it's not so stiff. A lot of people have a tendency to just lift their arms, okay? We don't want to lift the arms, we're breathing the arms to float. They're going to float away. You're going to feel like 
someone is someone or something is restricting your movement slightly from the front, so that when your palms, when the backs of your when the backs of your hands float out, you're actually pressing into some imaginary structure that's in front of you. Okay, that creates length here. It also allows the fingers to become more soft as opposed to just pulling them up like this. So we want extension. The real challenge with this movement is learning to be soft, is practicing being soft. You don't repeat the movement over and over again, although it may feel like that. You're becoming softer and softer so that each time you breathe this movement into being, it feels fresh and new. And you're learning something about the structure of your body. So you can play around with physical tensions and you can move the energy about as you breathe and then relax deeper into your body, into the space, into the floor. Okay, keep the belly and the chest sunken in, tailbone, lower back opens up, tailbone is plugging into the earth. Work on the structure of the feet, inside, outside, feeling the energy lines on both inside and outside of the legs, which takes practice and time. This move here is the foundation for so many different Qigong, Tai Chi moves um, and will really start to open up channels of energy to flow and allow your body to soften and become uh, more tuned into your physical space and your physical sense of self.